so this dude, Jordan Addison, all Minnesota Viking fans are excited for him. He got drafted first round. We we're thinking about, we're thinking of the highest of highs for the two best wide receivers on the same field. We're going to have the best dual wide receivers in the NFL, Jordan Addison and uh, Justin Jefferson. And the skill set is there. All the, uh, everything just checks out. This guy's great. Beats coverage. It looks like a mini Stephon Diggs. Some people even compare him to Devontae Smith and all these other uh, established wide receivers. But the, that's the thing. They're established. I'm tired of uh, getting my hopes, like my, my hopes all the way up for rookie, rookie uh, Minnesota Vikings. Because every single year it's the same old, same old. Last year's rookies were supposed to be like all flashy. They looked all flashy and all great and all this and that. How many of them do it? How many of them are actually like long-term solutions? You know, all of them. The majority of them are injury-prone. Um, some of them might not even be make the make the first for the first cut. Um, it's just you know Jordan Addison is just a, I'm I'm labeling him as Irv Smith uh, 2.0, Irv Smith Jr. 2.0. The man that the Irv Smith. Everybody was giving him the breaks. Everybody was like, oh, Irv Smith. He's talented. You can see it. He's got the look. He's got the look. He's fast. He can catch. He can do this. He can do that. And as Viking fans, because he was wearing purple and gold, we were blind. We were turning the other cheek to all the all the red flags that Eric Smith was possessing. And it was every single year. This guy's going to be good. He's injured right now, but, you know, he's still out on his rookie contract. We can forgive him. We can. We, he, he, there's no hurry, you know. Boy, all that time that we lost waiting on Irv Smith to develop, man, and he's still he's not even on the team. I this dude Jordan Addison's already injured during a there's no contact and he already injured. How do you do that? How do you do that? You wanna talk about this is why I can't get overly hyped up over the Minnesota Vikings anymore, man. It just seems like every single year the Vikings just do the same old. It's the same old, same old with the Minnesota Vikings. Look at Cam Dansler, by the way. How's that working now? Cam Dansler, I that's one of the last players that I looked at that I was like, man, that guy looks good. He looks the part. He's tall. You know, he can play zone coverage. He looks like he's going to be our number one cornerback. And for a little bit, people were like, oh, he might, he's playing better than Patrick Peter. Where is that at now? Where is that, where is that at now? He's a free agent again. Washington didn't even let him let him get to the month of June. He was on the team for like two months. He was on the team for like six weeks. He didn't even get to sign. He, he was barely moving in and moving all his stuff over from Minnesota into Washington. Like, come on, man. I just feel like, man, my team is just, man, they love to disappoint me, man. My team just... Doesn't matter what coach it is, doesn't matter what year we're in, it just does not matter. Minnesota Vikings are just the Minnesota Vikings. My friend out in California said it best. That he's a he's a Seahawks fan. He's actually experienced Super Bowl success, you know. But he said it best about the NFC North. He said the NFC North, and he's been watching the NFL since like the early, early 1990s. He said the the NFC North. The NFC North will always be the same. It has been the same. It's been the same, and it will be the same. He said, the Chicago Bears rely so much on defense, and they have a lackluster offense. They always have a decent running back, and that's it. That's the, that's the best you're going to get out of Chicago. Every, and it seems like that's all. The, I was like, damn. He told the truth about the Chicago Bears. He said, the Detroit Lions, that, they're, they're just the Detroit Lions. There's no hope for the Detroit Lions. This year they're getting a whole bunch of hype, but I, it just feels like one, one, like maybe one or two years out of every decade they're somewhat decent. That's what he said. He said the Green Bay Packers, they'll have a slip up every once in a while, but they'll they'll continue to own the division. And he was saying, don't take this the wrong way, but that's just what he said. That's just what he's his. That's what he's seen since the late '80s, early 1990s. That's about like 30 years of of uh, data right there. And then he moves on to the Minnesota Vikings. He said the Minnesota Vikings are always that one team that is just one quarterback, one player away from winning the Super Bowl. But he just always they always seem to run into bad luck, which is why we're 0-4 in the Super Bowl, which is why we're like the most division titles in NFL history, right? The most playoff most uh, playoff losses in NFL history as well. Now look. I love the Minnesota Vikings, right? I love the Minnesota Vikings. But 
to be real with you, I'm expecting another downfall year. I'm expecting the Minnesota Vikings to look decent, to play pretty decent, and then to lose to the teams we're supposed to beat. I'm, I'm, I'm Jordan Addison. He's the reason why I started making this video, and I just couldn't hold back anymore. I'm a few days late on making this video because Jordan Addison actually injured himself in, in practice. Like, what are they even called? Mini camps, rookie mini camps, where he's nobody's around him, no contact with, and he, he's already injured. Nah. And we're talking about we want to get rid of Dalvin Cook. We want to get rid of Dalvin Cook. We want to get we really want to get rid of Dalvin Cook because he want he the Vikings owe him what 14 15 million because we're in such a hurry to sign Justin Jefferson to a, a mega deal. So instead of paying 14 15 million a year we're gonna we're in such a hurry to go over here and cough up like thirty to forty million a year. Like what's gonna happen when Justin Jefferson signs that big old contract and Jordan Addison's contract rookie contract is up and Jordan Addison turns somewhat decent. And at that time at that point in time when Jordan Addison's rookie contract is up, you know Kirk Cousins isn't gonna be there. What if we actually come across drafting a franchise quarterback? Then what are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. What do I know, right? But those are just my two cents. Skulls on checking out.